Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and welcome all of you to another part of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So, as you can see I switched over to Rex with Mithra, reasoning for that is whatever's coming up now. Uh, I wanna have someone that I can combo my blade arts with and Rex pro is a better option in that case than Tora. Lady Morag, you're making that face again. If you keep frowning like that, you'll get wrinkles. I just don't get it. Tantau was founded by the counter Adamites. Then, after the war, they closed themselves off. But the way the king was acting, I can't help feeling there's something more to it. What the? It was the Praetorium who sent us here on this mission. Why would he go to such lengths to reject it? It seemed almost like he wanted to cut ties with them. You think Indol is holding something else over Tantal? That would be an explanation, yes. Zeke, do you know anything useful? Nope. There's no records from back then. How about you? There's nothing in my journal from that period. I might have been returned to my core for some reason or other. Do you know anything about those days, Gramps? Hmm? No. I was somewhere else at the time, and matters of human kingdoms and so on didn't interest me much. Jeez, Gramps, what's the point of keeping an old-timer like you around if you don't even know anything? Sometimes, it's funny how much you sound like Corinne. So you think the king wasn't telling us everything? There is a chance. Do you think... It may be related to Jin and his comrades using Torna's name. If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far. The last state? Hmm? Jin said something about the last state of humanity. I thought you meant like an evolution. You know, in the future. But maybe he meant the previous state of humanity. And that is the key to why they fight? Hmm. If... If that is the case... Perhaps I... Never should have been sealed away after all. Food for thoughts, right? Well, what I wanted to say before the game so rudely interrupted me is that Tora is not the best option for having chains at the moment, uh, chain attacks, because uh, he is a little bit limited on how I can chain the uh, his arts together. So, Rex, probably the best option, especially with all the blades that he has and the comps that I can do with him. So, that done, said, and all well done my mind now. Let's continue on that way. I like that there's a bird just flying around. But look at this beautiful place. What is this place? A battleground from the Aegis War. There are many things here, I remember. The walls and floors are melted. Must have been a hell of a battle. Ophion isn't the only artifice. You've already seen one other, Siren, the one Mithra commands. But during the war, there were countless artifices wielded by Malos. So, it's a site of a fight against them. Say, what are these artifices anyway? We've only actually met Ophion. 
We've never even seen Siren, just that light thing it shoots down. They're a power granted to the Aegises. Divine swords sleeping in Elysium, far above us all. Hold on. I thought Elysium was a paradise, not a scary weapon stash. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? All that I can find in the corners of my memory is that townscape. I don't know why Father created me, or created the artifices. That's what I want to find out. Pyra. It's okay. We'll find out once we get there. I don't think... Open a chest, it might turn out great. But until then, it's just a crate. That's rule four of the Salvager's Code. Ha <laughs> ha! Rex. Comparing Elysium to dirty old sea junk? I mean, Rex is still right. At the moment you don't know what Elysium holds, but once you're there you will know what good or bad Elysium will do for you. And re uh, depending on what bad you might find in there, you might not actually tell anybody what you found. That's at least as far so I can interpret that. I don't think if that is how far Rex actually fought with his uh, comparison there, but still, that's how far you can make the comparison anyway. So we can just walk past all of those. Still, we are at level 46. The training should not be needed. So, yes, fresh Rodonia. Nobody cares. And I wanna say, boy, are you fresh! Good, now that that's out of the head, let's move on forward in this place that looks a little bit like uh, a thing that would be found in Attack on Titans. Not Attack on Titans, wrong game. Um, a thing that would be found um, in Shadow of the Colossus, there we are. I don't know why I combined those two with, together right now, but I mean, whatever. You, you now know what I mean. And I hope you can forgive me that I'm that stupid. Please forgive me. So, now that we wander around up here, we are now finally where we need to be. Hey, look what I found! My prince, look over there! Would you look at that? I guess we've arrived. Whoa, it looks way older than the palace. Yes, it seems untouched by the ravages of time. That's it. Looks like a core crystal. Is that the Omega Feta? Yes. That's Ophian's control core. It was originally a conduit that I used to communicate with Ophion. We have to hurry. Yes, you're right. Hmm. Well, can you fix it? Shut up. I'm sorry.
Hmm. Mithra? Whoa. In that case... Are we... rising? All right, Prince. I've told Genbu to resume circling the Cloud Sea once he's done rising. Nice. Looks like we made it after all. Oh, great news! Oh, Tora was not look forward to becoming flat as Argenta Monkfish. A job well done, eh? Hey, Rex, you can remove that thing now. Hmm. So it was hidden all the way out here. What? No wonder we couldn't find it. I'd just been wondering whether it was time to make an exit. Thanks for saving me the trouble. Lovely to see that tedious woman isn't here to get in our way this time. Care to join me? In a dance of death, Nia? I think I just threw up in my mouth a bit. Mean little girl. You've come for the feta, haven't you? Perceptive, kid. Condescending much? It's not like there's anything else here. You are so mean. Now, hand it over nicely would be the classic line, but no. I'm not letting you escape with your lives. For Jin's sake. Where are Jin and Malos anyway? There are a few things I need to ask them. Frankly, I don't think they've got much interest in what you have to say. Sure about that? Quite sure, yes. Not to interrupt the verbal sparring, but how do you plan on doing anything without your blades? We're no pushovers, you know. Oh, we're quite aware of that. We just don't need them. You see? Explain yourself. Blades? Worse. Flesh eaters. Bravo! Very good. We've had many an interruption in the past. But here, that seems less likely. So let's go all out. You can try, but I assure you, we won't go down easy. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like I said, all No other engage, just in case you are still wondering if I keep on doing that. Yes, of course I will keep on doing this. As long as the game won't let me auto engage in fights, I will keep on doing that. Oh, also, Mikael, you you used your ability to draw all the focus on you. You are the first one that needs to go down, if that is what we're gonna have to do here. So let's go over to Asami here. I need two things that we need to do here. One of them is not uh, another Earth, however. If I want, specifically if Tora, you could switch over to Puppy Cutie, then would be a bit better off because then you could start doing something then. No? Okay, then just do that. Here we go. Because you are weak against light, how about I just use that to my advantage and keep on hitting you a few times more. I don't think that I have what it takes to charge all the way up to stage 3, but I mean, if I have the ability to do that, I will surely try to. And if not, I have at least... Uh... Okay, what just happened there? That was weird. Okay, let's try this again. One more time with feeling, please. I don't know why that just happened there. 
So let's ouch don't Why is what that Stop it Mikhail You're a little bit frustrating here at the moment So let's try and do this the right way Okay there we go Great I always like when that happens We are now shackled Okay Can we please No Still can there we go, now I can do this. Well, that actually helped me more out than you think it would, Mikkel. Wow, you actually lose the photon really fast, so... That's not gonna happen anytime soon. Let's go with Aqua. Okay, let's go with Wind. For something you're weak against, you're losing that super fast. Great that you healed right after I went down near. Always appreciative of that. Who actually attacked me is the better question. Okay, Mikael, you are frustrating in so many different ways. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna charge up my light because, again, you're weak against that. And I'm gonna try to get that all the way up just for you so that I can at least deal a good bit of damage there on your part. That's not as much damage as I was hoping to deal, but I still take it. Um, the better question is, would it be in my utmost interest to attack someone else here or not? Everybody please keep focusing on Mikhail, because he's the one who can use uh, the ability to target him only. And therefore he's frustrating, so focus on that douchebag and there we go. Light shall shine on you while I go around and grab all of those little potions. I don't think Mikael is actually taking much damage there, so how about we attack the Trovka then? Because Mikael doesn't take damage anymore, so maybe that's a better option there now. Everybody, focus on Petrovka please. Petroshka, Petroka, don't know. I, I'm pronouncing it very wrong right now, so please be kind to my gentle soul. We are back on Mikael again. But he takes damage, that's at least something, so... Let's just, ouch, let's just continue welling him down while we have the option to. Can we stop falling down, Rex? Would help us a good bit if that would be an option. And another light. Before you shackled us, I actually got that off, so that's good. Everybody, please stay healthy. And focus on Mikhail, please. Because he is frustrating and I want to get him out of the way because it focuses us all the time. Let's use... And Nia's water ability here to keep us well above the health that we want to try to avoid. Pandemic! That did not work. We're always just falling down. It's a little bit frustrating that this is something that I'm gonna have to deal with here. So, and I love that. It would be nice if we could get Final Disaster off, but of course we didn't get it off. I don't want to use. Um, my chain attack at the moment because I feel like it would be way more of a problem if I did that than I want it to be. So let's go ahead and try something a little bit more convoluted this time. Let's see if that's gonna work. Nope. Every time I try to do something with Photon, everything that I'm getting is I get blown down and I cannot do anything. Let's go with Pandemic there. And great I would have the ability to do something there because if I switch over to rock now <sighs> okay I need to switch around quicker so that I can do this so ouch I'm down again just wanna point it out please help me up or not I mean I can do with deal with not it's just a bit frustrating so let's all attack Mikhail. Let's use Nia's wind because Nia has the ability to do a lot with wind. And where are you? If Mikhail. Okay, Tora, you need to be a little bit quick on your feet there. So I have my stuff ready, pandemic, and once pandemic is done, I can use final disaster on Mikhail. There we go, final disaster.
There you go, you think that we wouldn't be able to attack you. So let's not attack something stupid there. Let's all... I actually wanna fight Akos, Akos, because Akos is frustrating in a whole different way. Nia, why did you have to fall down? That's not something that we need. Really not. And everyone, come on, Akos. He's the one that I want to have dealt with next. There you go. And he's weak against stone, so let's try and get that done a good bit. And let's try and combo as much right there as I can. He also loses that super quick, so there's no option if I do it like this. I need Poppy QT to be ready for the attack, and I can just use um, Tora for that. And I need Rock after that ready. Okay, so I, I see what I need to do here. I see the combo that I need to go at. So once once I have the ability to do the thing that I want to do there. So, come on. I need stone. Perfect. Let's switch over to rock right away. Perfect. Now Gaia. No, not Gaia. Ah, that was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. Need puppy cutie. That was the wrong one. Well, sometimes you do something wrong. Sometimes, sometimes the things that you do wrong work out, sometimes they don't. Let's use wind anyway because I really need the health that it provides me with. Don't know if I should get rid of the weather thing or not. Actually, is it still in off that or not? No, it's not. Damn it. Not quick enough. So, I should, I could still do that. So, let's try and get all of those attacks up there. That's okay. I still need to up my... Don't do that! I hate it! I hate it so much when you throw me down. Okay. And I'm down again. Rex, could you please stop that? It's a little bit frustrating. So Nia, win! Nia, something! Something, Nia! Great Nia. It's always nice to see that things take ages. What? What is going on right now? I completely lost track of what's going on. So let's do that. Let's go over there. Great, that was actually super stupid for me to switch out rock right then and there. Because I could have gone for that right now. <sighs> Doing mistakes. Well, whatever. Let's go there. Use wind with her. And if I use Cyclone now... I don't know if Tora is ready for that, but if he is, then that's actually good for us. If not, then, well, we just dealt a good bit of damage. Everybody, please stand up! You can lay on the ground later as well. So, just do something. Okay, good, you're out as well. And now all we need to do is get rid of Petrovka. Petrovka, whatever. I'm gonna say it wrong as many times as it needs to be said wrong. So let's go with that. I know that it does not do me any good, but I'm still gonna do it. And now I also can use the chain attack at the very end of that, so that I have an easier time taking her out. So I could go for wind, and that could actually work for me then. Let's just wait a little bit longer so that Tora actually gets up with his abilities. So let's just switch around between my blades so that I can deal a good bit of damage with all the arts that I have ready. And spread out. Or not. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we have stone now. Please stand up again. Stand up. Thank you. I know that you want to take a break every time, but we also need some attacks in there. No, nothing... Nothing good's gonna come if we're not gonna attack with everything we've got right there. So, and there you go. And then Asami. And if Tora just switches around to Poppy, then we're 
Good. Toram, yo. Uh, let's just try that again. Let's see what happens if we do that. So let's do that. And actually, if I had two times fire, I could have done something better there. Whatever. We did it. It worked out anyway. Inconceivable. How could we? These rats! Warned you, didn't we? You mess with Thunderbolt Zeke, that's what you get. You brought this on yourselves. Uh, anyway, this has gone on long enough. Nighty night, chaps. Very much looking forward to interrogating you later. Here I go. Bring her of chaos! <laughs> Jim, where did he? Seems they don't call you Thunderbolt for nothing. That's the first time I've ever missed a vital point. <laughs> You bastard! Prince! Don't worry yourself. It's just a scratch, really. Jin, are you okay? Relax, he's not made of glass. Malos? Don't mind me. I'm just a spectator. He, on the other hand, insisted on coming here to settle a score. Jin did. Correct. You will give me both the Omega Fetter and the Aegis. You just try and take them. I know you're strong, but there's no way we're giving you Pyra or Mithra. You have power, boy. Words do little. If you know what you desire, you will have to show it. Not with words, but with your own strength. Jin's true form. What enormous energy. There's no change to ether energy of surroundings. That energy being emitted from interior of body. Just like our pirate event. Where did he even keep all that energy? How about all that rage energy? He's got all pent up inside. No, that's not it. It's... Watch out! Here he comes! No honor engage, and yes, we have to find Chin now. Uh, that's actually the reason why I wanted to go and see if I can have the chain attack as a final blow, but actually that works out as well if I don't have it as the final blow, because that way I don't lose uh, my party gauge, which will help us a good bit there. So, um, Chin, you are a pain, and... I cannot use my blade arts, as you can see. I don't get anything done for Mithra right now. I don't know why that is, but Mithra doesn't get anything. And we're already knocked out. Good job, Rex! I hate you so much for that. So, but yeah, I don't know why Mithra is actually the one that does not get anything. There we go. I don't know why it took you so long to get anything done. Let's start with getting... Flung into the air. One of his moves that I hate the most. And it will get only worse as we go on. So, Volcano. Means I can't do much anyway. Ouch. Got hit there. Right in the face. I take it anyway. The good thing is, Chin is not one of those that just immediately has. Ah! Ah! 
With wounds like that, they're done for. It's their biggest weakness. Your struggle is pointless. My power gives me control over all elementary particles. Party what? <laughs> This allows me to accelerate my body to the speed of light. No matter how far ahead you can predict, your movements themselves are limited. You are no match for me. Mitra! I'm still here. Rex, we have to slow him down. Match light speed with light speed. Got it. Okay. Here we go. Aegis's attacks are nothing but a stream of particle energy. The particles that form it are too heavy to truly reach light speed. The result is obvious. Oh, no. Mithra's attack didn't... Jin. It's over, boy. Eat this! Of course. That's why you were at Banner's factory. You won't win so easily! <laughs> Lady Morag! Whoa. You're quite a looker from up close. Killing you will be such a waste. You're a pig! S stop it! Uh. I'm surprised you're still breathing. Relax. You'll be able to rest after I've pried that core crystal from your chest. I won't die here. I have to reach Elysium. I have to find the answers we're all looking for. <gasps> What answers? In this world, there are no answers. Ah! Uh, enough! I'm the one you want. Isn't that right? Leave them... out of this. Aw, oh, look. What a touching scene. Are you going to beg for their lives? No mockery, Mick. This is serious business. Put the sword away, Jin. If not, I'll... You'll do what, exactly? I will... ...annihilate myself. What? You need me alive, don't you? Melos. You worked that much out, did you? Well done. But how would you make good on that threat? You don't have that kind of... Are you so sure about that? This is a shock. 
I didn't think you had it in you. What's going on? She's controlling Mithra's artifice herself. She's controlling Siren through sheer... willpower? Go ahead. I'll deflect it with my powers. Just like before. You could do that. If I use the particle cannon itself. But this... is the targeting ray. It moves at the... speed of light. And if I... turn up the output just a little... That light alone has enough power to annihilate a single blade. You. One signal from me, and my body will be scoured from this world. Faster than you can blink. So? Jin? How unexpected. That you and Aegis would say something like that. So you'll do it. Open the gates to Elysium for us. Yes. If that is your wish. Don't, Hyra. They'll just... Uh! Jin? I'm really sorry, Rex. Uh, uh, Hira. But why? state of you <sighs> you hadn't even noticed your own blade has been wounded so deeply and all you can think of is yourself uh... you awakened the aegis i thought you might have been different but you're just a fool <sighs> a pitiful Childish. Fool. Fire! <laughs> 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 